I often see the question, how do I get started with machine learning? What do I learn first? And I really want to help out when I see this question, but there is one big problem here. And that is, I think this is the wrong question to ask. In this video, let's tackle why I think this is the wrong question and what you can ask instead. Before we get started, I want to say hi, welcome back. Or if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Sarah and I've been a data scientist for a little over a year now. And on this channel, I want to make machine learning be less overwhelming and more fun for all of you watching and also for myself. In this video, I will explain why I think this is the wrong question and how you should approach the topic by answering three very simple other questions. And these are why, when, and then how. So one of the first questions you should think about is what exactly is your goal? Why do you want to learn machine learning? Because let's be clear, you will never learn all of machine learning. It's simply not possible. The field is massive. And even if you would be able to learn all of it, it is so fast evolving right now. There are so many people doing research that you could never keep up even with the current research in all directions. So if learning it all isn't your goal, then what exactly is your goal? And while defining your goal, I think you should be trying to answer three questions. The first is, do you really want to learn this or are you just hoping for a quick, easy money? Because trust me, this is not a field where you can be making the quick bucks like tomorrow. <laughs> I want you to sit down and really think about, are you someone who's interested in in learning how to code, are you interested in mathematics? And that is not just calculating numbers, that's also like more abstract mathematics like derivatives, calculus, linear algebra, and are you interested in learning statistics? And are you interested in doing that for years and years? And it's okay if you're not really sure. When I got started in university, I wasn't sure if that was something I would be doing for the rest of my life. But if you're someone that's like, I hate math, like I really, really hate math, then I, I don't think this is really right for you. Because if you're fighting your own interests every step of the way, this will be very hard and you will probably give up. All right, so you've established that you really want to learn machine learning. Then the second question I want you to answer is, do you want to learn it as a job or as a hobby? This will influence what kind of skills you're learning a lot. If you are aiming for a career in machine learning, I would heavily encourage you to do research for the specific job that you want. So do you want to be a machine learning engineer, a data scientist, a data analyst maybe? And in what country do you want this job to be? Because job requirements, especially in smaller companies, are very different across countries. Personally, I'm in Germany and when I look at my colleagues in data science, almost all of them have a master's degree. You don't have to have a degree in computer science, but most of my colleagues have a master's degree in a STEM subject. That could be computer science, mathematics, psychology, physics, but it is very rare to see someone with only a bachelor's degree or even no university degree in data science. I'm not saying it's impossible without a university degree, but it is very hard and really please do your research for the job and the country that you're aiming for. If you want to pursue machine learning just as a hobby for now, then you still need to learn some of the basics, but you are way more free in deciding which skills you want to pursue further or which ones you'd rather not focus so much time on. All right, and the third question in defining your goal is what specialty of machine learning are you interested in? All right, I can already hear you complaining. If you're just starting out, this question might be overwhelming, but hear me out. So if you are thinking of machine learning, what is it that you have in your head? Do you want to work with images and videos like self-driving cars? Do you want to do something with text like ChatGPT is currently a lot in the news? These are more of the areas that you might hear about in the news, but what a lot of data scientists actually do day to day is optimizing business decisions based on data. One example for that could be predicting how many bananas or apples will be bought in a supermarket over the next week so you can order the right amount and don't have to throw anything away. So I would encourage you to think about which of these specialties interests you the most so that later on when you pick courses or resources, you can pick something that aligns with your interests second step of getting started with machine learning and that is the question when the first aspect of this is long-term planning are you planning on spending months on this or years 
do you need maybe a job in two to three months because you don't have one right now? Or are you still in another career or maybe still in school and you're planning for the future? Let me be frank. If you have no prior knowledge and you want a job in machine learning in three months, that will be very, 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 very unlikely. <laughs> How long it will take you to understand the basics of machine learning depends a lot on your prior knowledge. Like I said earlier, most people who work in machine learning have a master's degree. That is five full years of studying. But that includes learning how to code and getting a good math foundation. If you already have both of these skills, you can get to a solid machine learning foundation in a few months of full-time studying probably. So for yourself, before you get started, consider how much time into the future are you willing to invest into this subject? And again, of course, it's okay to change your mind. Maybe you start studying and you're like, eh, I don't like this. Or maybe you start studying it as a hobby and you decide, oh my God, I really like this. And maybe you decide to go to university to get a degree in the subject. But I think it's a good idea to have a general idea of how long this will probably take you. After this, it's time for some more immediate planning. How much time, how many hours do you have to study machine learning per week or per day? I definitely think you need to study at least every week or maybe you can skip a week sometimes, but not often. If you only study this once per month, you will never get anywhere because a month later you will have already forgotten everything that you've studied. So how much time are you willing to invest long term and every week? Ideally, write the answer down. When you've answered all of these questions for yourself, now you're ready to make a study plan. Now there are a million study guides for machine learning out there, so I'll make this very short. Roughly speaking, there are three main areas in machine learning and that's coding and data structures and algorithms. It's math, so that's linear algebra, calculus like derivatives, and some amount of optimization and maybe stuff like graph theory. And the third area is everything around probability, statistics, etc. Now there is a lot of debate out there with what area you should start, and I personally think it doesn't matter. I think it matters what you personally like and what you're most excited about. And of course, it also depends on what you already know. If you already know how to code in Python, great, you can focus on the math and statistics and maybe already play around with some code while learning the math. If you already have a solid statistics or math foundation, but you don't know how to code at all, you should probably pick up Python and learn coding. In general, I think you should learn all of these areas somewhat in parallel. So don't become a master at coding and then pick up your first math skills because these areas supplement each other very well. If you know some coding, you can play around with distributions and statistics through the code and see those things and actions and that might help you learn more. But yeah, like I said, there are many study plans out there go ahead, look at them and find something that fits to your goals that we just described, that you can roughly imagine how you could implement that into your life, given the time frame and the time that you have, and that also fits your personal interests. All right, that's it from me from this video. So shoo shoo, go ahead, make a study plan and get going.